The number of devices being produced with lithium battery power is growing at an alarming rate, and millions of these electronic gadgets are brought on board aircraft every day. Smartphones, tablets, laptops, MP3 players, ebooks, portable power chargers, headphones, e cigarettes, various toys, light up tennis shoes, defibrillators, even pilots' electronic flight bags are all powered by lithium ion batteries and all carry a threat of thermal runaway. The risk being that if left unattended, these batteries can overheat and burst into flames, emitting toxic smoke and spewing hot, melting metal and plastic. Estimates show that a typical passenger flight could have over 500 lithium batteries on board. Multiply that by the approximately 100,000 commercial airline flights every day, and the result is 50 million lithium batteries being flown in passenger aircraft cabins every single day. And this astounding estimate does not include the thousands of general aviation aircraft flying on any given day with multiple devices carried on by passengers and crew. Furthermore, the FAA reports that on average, one of these fires occurs every 10 days. And that's based on reported incidents. A report from Flight Safety Australia indicated a steep increase in dangerous incidents involving personal electronic devices. One such incident happened when this passenger's headphones caught fire on a flight from Beijing to Melbourne, Australia. The ATSB assessed that the batteries inside the passenger's headphones were most likely the cause of the fire. And this is only one of a growing number of examples. To put it simply, the threat is real. As of right now, the battery industry is producing about 5 billion lithium batteries every year. And battery associations say that thanks to manufacturing defects, 1 in 10 million of these batteries will spontaneously combust. As of August 7, 2018, 225 in-air and airport incidents involving lithium batteries carried as cargo or baggage have been recorded since 1991. But the rate is increasing with 31 in 2016, 46 incidents in 2017, and already 35 as of August 2018. Manufacturer recalls of electronic devices driven by faulty lithium batteries or charging units are happening every day. And not always with the international coverage that the Galaxy Note 7 received in the fall of 2016. And sometimes it's not even the result of a faulty battery that causes these devices to be so dangerous. Many carriers that offer electrically adjustable seats in their premium class cabins have been grappling with the problem of passengers' personal electronic devices slipping into the seat mechanism, being crushed, and creating a fire hazard. Consequently, many carriers have implemented measures aimed at preventing these types of lithium battery-related fires on board. The list of dangerous devices includes electronic cigarettes, credit card readers, hoverboards, portable charger banks, and even some fidget spinners. Testing is crucial to understanding the power and unpredictability of lithium batteries overheating and going into full thermal runaway. With rare access to Underwriters Laboratories in Chicago, the Today Show's Jeff Rosen shared an up-close look at what happens when these batteries explode. In 2015, FAA Tech Center testing showed that the ignition of unburned flammable gases associated with a lithium battery fire could lead to a catastrophic explosion. The current design of the Halon 1301 fire suppression system in a Class C cargo compartment of passenger airplanes is incapable of preventing such an explosion, which has prompted authorities to ban bulk battery shipments on passenger airlines. In May of 2017, the FAA reported test results showing that dousing several different types of tablets with water had virtually no effect when trying to extinguish the thermal runaway because of the difficulty in gaining penetration into the battery area. In one of its reports, the BEA, French authorities, stated, Throwing water on a lithium battery fire can, however, revive the flames and make it more difficult to extinguish because of the reduction of lithium in water, which leads to the release of hydrogen, which is highly flammable. In addition, advances in personal electronic devices now include waterproof design, or at least liquid resistant, to the point that water would have little impact on a runaway.
As it turns out, there are additional safety risks with these lithium-ion battery fires in smaller business jets. Because business jets have a smaller cabin, it would only take one battery-powered laptop to generate enough toxic smoke to put the crew and passengers at risk. Not to mention, many business aircraft flights don't have flight attendants on board, so the pilots themselves have to take on the role of firefighter when a battery goes into full runaway. The FAA Fire and Cabin Safety Research Conference in Atlantic City in 2016 emphasized the serious threat of toxic smoke that is emitted from these devices. As this hazard can cause immediate medical complications to the passengers and crew by ingesting the toxins from the melting plastic and smoke from the battery fluid. And as always, time is of the essence in dangerous situations like these. So ask yourself, when a lithium battery thermal event occurs on your aircraft, will you be ready? to contain the fire, to protect the aircraft, the crew, and the passengers. The threat is real, 